Hello, Gavin McCormack here, and welcome to this lesson on mountains and the important role that they play in our lives. Now, you might be thinking, why am I doing a lesson on mountains? Well, they are absolutely fundamental in the way that our world works, the way that the weather functions, and the way that you live your life every single day. Now, we have hiked to an altitude of 5,000 meters. As you can see behind me, there's a colossal mountain. This is called a Fishkale Mountain, or as the Nepalese people here in this country call it, Holy Mountain. And it is absolutely humongous, towering almost up to 8,000 meters into the sky. And we're sitting at 5,000 meters here, which is about half the altitude at which a jumbo jet flies through the sky. And you might be thinking, why am I even bothering to talk about mountains? Well, number one, the mountains you're looking at right now behind me have been growing for millions and millions of years. And they were created when two tectonic plates collided. The Indian plate and the European plate colliding and pushing upwards to call something that we call fold mountains. But there are many other types of mountains in the world, but these ones right behind me are growing at around 10 centimeters every year. So if you think about it, in about a million years time, the mountain right over my shoulder could be at 10 or 20,000 meters tall. Imagine that. Now, these mountains have a significant impact on the way that you live your life. Number one, the snow that you can see on these mountains melts. And as it melts, it rolls down the valleys into rivers and finds its way into communities down below in the cities of Pokhara, Kathmandu, and all the way through India into the Ganges, actually helping people survive and live their daily lives. Be able to wash their clothes, drink fresh water, and also irrigate their land and grow crops. So that is number one. Number two, mountains cause an amazing weather formation happening right here. In about an hour's time, rolling clouds will pile over these mountains here, causing rain. You see, as air meets mountains, it's forced upwards. And when it's forced upwards, it cools. And the cooling air means that the water vapor inside condenses and turns from gas into liquid. That liquid falls as rain, irrigating land, filling rivers, and helping everybody in Southeast Asia on these Himalayan mountains right here be able to survive. And that is why these mountains are called the Fountain of Asia, because they provide water for hundreds of millions of people throughout the entire continent. Now this week, we want you to find a mountain close to you. A mountain close to your city, your town, or even within your continent. We want you to find out how it was created, how many years it's been around, what the future looks like for that mountain, and how it affects your life on a daily basis. See you next time. This is Gavin McCormick from Upschool. Thank you very much.